Hey, y'all. I just wanted to give you uh, my book talk about uh, this book. It's one of my favorites of all time. Um, there's a couple, but this one uh, I'm currently reading again. Uh, it's uh, by David Barry and Ridley Pearson. Uh, Peter and the Star Catchers. This is a, a series of books, but this particular one uh, is the first in the series, and it is by far my favorite. It has Peter, as in Peter Pan, before he even could fly. Um, it, it shows how he meets the people that he meets. It shows how he met up with Tinkerbell. It shows up how he met up with, uh, well, other people in the story that you might remember. Uh, Captain Hook, of all people. So we learn a lot about these characters as you read through, but it's told very differently than what you remember. Because it's a prequel, I guess you could call it. But anyhow, uh, excellent, excellent book. I just love reading it. Um, Peter is an orphan and is, you know, on an adventure. He has been sold to a king, and this is his trip to go meet the person that purchased him. On his way, there is a chest filled with stardust on this on the ship. That stardust is something that creates havoc for a lot of people, uh, and including Peter. So uh, there's a whole bunch of secrecy within the star uh, star catchers and the stardust, and uh, it's a good mystery type of a book, but also a great explanation. One of I'm sure many of how Peter Pan met. Captain Hook. Let me read you one passage about him trying to get off the ship. They, him and a, a group of boys were just loaded onto the ship, and Peter is not having it. He's like, nope, not going to happen. Let me, uh, let me read a piece, because I think it's really good. Here's, the, uh, here's what I wanted to read. Peter trotted aft on the Neverland's bustling deck, dodging the sailors, making final preparations for casting off and getting underway. The forward gangway had been detached, hauled aboard, and stowed. Now the sailors were working on the aft gangway. When they were done, there would be no way off the ship. Peter's plan was to dart down the gangway just before they finished the job and disappear into the bustle onto the wharf. He figured the ship's departure wouldn't be held up just for him, a mere one boy out of five. He had no plan for what he would do once he got off the ship. All he knew was he didn't want to be, or he didn't want to stay on it. Oh, he'd seen enough of the Neverland to decide that it was an unpleasant, dirty place run by unpleasant, dirty men. They were around him now, stinking of sweat, struggling with lines and sails as the officers shouted orders that consisted mostly, mostly of curses. They don't seem like a happy group, thought Peter. He neared the aft gangway and stopped, looking for his chance to flee directly ahead, blocking his path stood the first officer, Slank, supervising the gangway crew. Just beyond, two sailors were carrying the canvas-wrapped cargo that had been brought onto the ship at the last minute. Peter had watched the cargo's arrival and the little drama that played out on the wharf. He'd seen the sailor, the one with the big nose wart, reach under the canvas and touch something. He'd seen that look that had come over the man's face. He looked so happy, thought Peter. Why did he look so happy? And that is all I'm going to read for you because that is when the adventurer takes off. He meets a character named Molly, 
Um, and she goes along with him throughout most of the adventures, including the next book and the book after that. So uh, excellent, excellent book. Check it out.